morning, evening, afternoon. Tim and Tap Man 2, the Just Chatting podcast version of me. We got a great one for you today. Now, a lot of you know, I watch a lot of TikTok. I see a lot of very funny stuff on there. This TikTok and this guy in particular is one of the funnier TikTokers that I've seen. A lot of his stuff is Warzone based and he kind of does these skits that he acts out. This one in particular has to do with Warzone and hackers. And I tell you what, it's one of my favorites. It had me dying. Be sure to drop a like on this video. Be sure to share with a friend. If you're not subscribed to Tim and Tab Man 2, the Just Chatting Podcast version over here, hit the sub button and ring the bell. I appreciate you doing that. Be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Am I looking at this TikTok shot? This guy is funny. DMR headquarters, how many? Oh, I'm getting a call. DMR headquarters, how many? Activision headquarters, how many? Hello, you? I need to be transferred to the anti-cheat department. We don't have one of those, sir. Well, I need to speak to somebody. I need to report a hacker. Okay, can you give me his gamer tag? Yeah, it's, um, I'm not hacking five. Uh, well, clearly by his gamer tag, he's not hacking. Yeah, that's the whole point. He's trying to be funny. Okay, calm down, sir. I'm about to spectate him. Let's see what's going on. These cheats buzzing. I don't know. <laughs> that might just be aim assist. I know you ain't talking about... Hold on. I'm getting a call. <laughs> Dude, this guy, this guy's really funny, by the way, on TikTok as well, man. I need to be transferred to the anti-cheat department. We don't have one of those, sir. I don't know. That might just be anything. <laughs> I know you ain't talking about. Hold on. I'm getting a call. Uh, so true, though. Actual. He, his name's Shad Kinda Funny on tiktok i've seen a lot of his stuff he does a lot of like warzone based like skits and they're they're he's really funny i've seen a lot of his stuff hey tim check out this other ford performance video it's vaughn vaughn getting juniors 900 horsepower mustang horsepower was was Ken Block's Mustang. This one's 900. This was 1400, bro. God. Oh, man. Dude, this guy's literally driving sideways. <laughs> it's so crazy to me how Talented these drivers are, bro. I, I could never, ever. Tim, my Civic could do this. Hey, bro. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't think. I don't think your Civic could do this. little laugh at the end <laughs> i mean guys right you got all these cars you know but at the end of the day there's one car that reigns supreme you know what i'm saying dude you know what i mean chat look at that little guy huh oh yeah daddy nice step i don't need the step chat i don't need it this thing is so dangerous <laughs> I, want, I just I want you guys to know chat that this is this car this my truck I just want you to understand this is a dangerous vehicle okay it is a 900 okay no it's not it's a 700 horsepower engine in a in a Jeep Gladiator I don't need this step no I didn't I didn't use the step guys right I mean the step you guys see it pop out right like you open the door and it pops out, right? But like, Let's watch, see? Out. Skip right Let's over it, see what I mean? Let's move on, guys. Uh, <clears throat> $160 from Vinny. 
Board game Thursday coming back? No. I'm sorry that you had to give me $160 to get that answer, but no. Uh, I appreciate your $160. Can I get a kimono hype? Actually, let's do a PogChamp clap because it's myth today. Can I get a PogChamp clap in the chat for my man, Vinny? Vinny, thank you for your $160, but I just don't want to do it. No. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Tim, check out Vicstar's YouTube video. He watched a hacker stream himself in cheating. I wonder what your thoughts are on the current hacker situ situ situation in Warzone. Do I got to make like an official statement on this? Let me just sum up my feeling for cheaters in Warzone. Warzone is my favorite, one of probably my favorite battle royale I've ever played. I think that's a fair statement. I love Warzone. I love the pacing. I love the game. Okay. That's what I'm saying at the forefront of this. All right. I love Warzone. And the statement comes from a place of love, tough love, if you will. I don't care if they ban 60,000 accounts. I don't care if they ban 500,000 accounts until they say we got an anti-cheat to combat the cheaters. I do not care because those 60,000 accounts that they banned yesterday are going to turn into 60,000 new accounts that they're going to make today. It doesn't matter if they're banning them. They have to create an anti-cheat. That is the end of it, period. End of story. I don't give a shit. Any other update they give me, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Until I see an update from Call of Duty that's like, we created and are making or even made an anti-cheat, then I'm like, that's what I'm looking for. Otherwise, suck my ass. That felt good. Last dono, everyone type PogChamp. Hey, Tim, love stream. I'm curious what your opinion on Rainbow Six Siege. Would you ever consider playing it? Uh, my biggest problem with Siege is it's a really hard game to learn. You have to really understand map knowledge because uh, you get sprayed through walls and stuff. So, like, one of the biggest things is if I if I play Rainbow Six, I have to, I have to put a lot of time in. Have to. And, Tim, you're also very slow. You guys didn't have to say all that, but that is true as well. Who, put, who decided Valentine's Day was a thing, bro? Valentine's Day? Now I got to buy shit, right? Now I got to plan shit. And it's like... I'll never forget when Alexis was pregnant. I, I, apparently, you're supposed to buy a push present. Fuck's that? A push present. So I had to. So then. So so here here's like my the the end of the year into the beginning of the year stresses me out because the end of the year I got Christmas. Obviously, you got to buy shit for Christmas, right? Okay, cool. And then it's the new year. And then you got Valentine's Day, which is in February. And then Alexis's birthday's in March. And it's just like three, I got these three things in a row and it just stresses me out, you know, it does. And then you got anniversary and it's like, uh, like I'm just running out of shit to buy. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that Alexis likes just purses because it's kind of a safe bet. Like Alexis loves she likes like designer stuff, you know what I mean? She enjoys that. So thankfully she's actually kind of easy to shop for because all I gotta do is just buy like a fucking, uh, what's that, Louis Vuitton shit. It's, you know, it's like a grand or two and then she's happy, you know what I mean? And it's like, I, you know, I, I, can, I can just buy her that and she's good. I know it's pronounced, I know it's pronounced Vuitton. Okay, I was trolling. You know, one, one of those stores that I'll never be able to pronounce right is, um, it's like a jewelry one. What is it? And any, anyone here in the designer shit, it's car, Cardi, car, car, I call it Cartier, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> I like, I like Gucci cause I can pronounce that one at least pretty simply, but um, but yeah, Alexis is actually surprisingly easy to shop for and, and uh, because she enjoys designer things and, and it's good because I, I'm a, I, I, she can't shop for me. There's nothing you can buy me about a $10,000 television. Right. So it's like, you can't, I, I'm, you know what I mean? I, I, I and I, t I honestly tell her not to buy me anything because I don't need anything. I really don't. You got, I mean, chat being a streamer, y'all, you know, I'm in a point in my life where it's like, I'm, I'm good. I don't need anything. Thank you though. I just want to say, Chad, if you like designer stuff, uh, I'm happy for you. And I've seen people like almost gatekeep whether or not people can like designer stuff. And that's kind of weird too, right? Because I mean, if people, I mean, guys, who, who are you, how, how are you going to tell people 
like you see people spend like 10 grand on like a purse right hypothetically i'm not saying i have but it's like there's people that are like oh my god fucking kidding me but like at the end of the day it's their money if they want to spend it that way i mean shit would i ever buy that no i i'm like i look at something like a ten thousand dollar person like shit man you could have bought a television i'm gonna i'm gonna literally till i die my deathbed on my last words that i say is gonna be something like along the lines of how much does all this surgery cost to try and save me 10 grand man that could have been a television and then that's gonna be like my <laughs> but yeah man i mean bro if people like designer stuff and that 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 gets them excited cool i personally cannot even remotely relate with it but you know at the end of the day i mean i spent i spent one hundred twenty thousand dollars on a jeep you know so shit right ultimately if you really if you really break down what i bought i spent one hundred twenty thousand dollars on a jeep right essentially so it's like um <laughs> you know i mean it's a dream car right but at the end of the day it's it is jeep technically so i mean so yeah someone said someone said I think it was yesterday or like even the day before I saw someone say DILF and it kind of dawned on me that I am uh, technically, I guess, a DILF now. Yeah. Because I'm a dad, right? So, isn't that weird to think about? Why am I, why are we talking about this? Is it more like a GILF? Like a grandpa? Not a grandfather. Isn't it crazy that my son could make me a grandpa? Like if, if he's like, you know, a teenager what's that like 16 and pregnant show right i think about that wasn't that the show 16 and pregnant wasn't that the show is that the show what was the name of the show i'm drawing a blank now okay now now it's called teen mom but wasn't it i swear to god i remember a show called like 16 and pregnant or something like that okay let me do some math here i'm turning 31 chat help me i'm turning 31 my son is turning two how old is he gonna be so in 14 years how old am i gonna be 14 years i'll be four 45 holy shit i'm old as fuck i gotta be honest chat 31 this year is hitting a bit different 30 31 this year is hitting weird you know how i know i'm getting old back when i would watch college like football with my dad or something i would see the college players and i'm like man those guys are so old when i was like you know 10 11 12 and now i look at college athletes i'm like look at those kids right let's move on guys let's stop talking about me being 45 and and sexy.